Boxing is a subjective sport. With this being said, different judges use different criteria when picking the winner of a fight. Some judges prefer the come forward type of brawler, while others like the more standard boxers who move, counter, and jab without getting hit. Most of the time, these different philosophies of judges don't usually conflict. But on some occasions, the philosophies clash. This clash in philosophies create controversy in the boxing community, and the results are debated for years. One such controversy was the Manny Pacquiao vs. Tim Bradley fight. Some judges enjoyed the flashy, powerful, and fast punching of Manny Pacquiao, while others enjoyed the work rate of Tim Bradley. At the end of the day, Tim Bradley got the nod. On Saturday, May 7th, at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, Canelo Alvarez faced Amir Khan for the WBC, the ring and lineal middleweight champions of the world. Alvarez won by stunning KO, but a narrative is beginning to develop. That narrative is being pushed by some of the most intelligent boxing analysts, people like Floyd Sr., Floyd Jr., Pauline Malignaggi, and Sean Porter are all backing this narrative. That narrative is that Amir Khan was ahead on the cards prior to the knockout. And as will be shown in this video, you will see that Alvarez landed the more punches, controlled the pace of the fight, and landed the cleaner, more effective punches. I counted both fighters landing the same amount of punches in the fourth. But as you'll see, Alvarez punches were clearly more effective. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and tell me what you think. Let Scheduled in the fall. Andre is the master of the Virgil Hunter style, kind of consummate professional boxer. And no doubt pulling for his training mate Amir Khan here tonight. Harold Letterman agreeing with us, as you see, giving the first two rounds to the British star. not terribly surprising given the speed advantage of course he's a front runner which is why i said that the layoff wouldn't hurt him much because he's not looking to make shots off of counter shots he's looking to be ahead and and khan took that left hook very well from canelo he's landed three of them now canelo has landed three solid left hooks he hasn't yet hurt amir khan with the punch gonna have to wear him down some before he hurts his jim prediction is he hurts him after he catches him in the body shot. In fact, if I were training Canelo Alvarez, I would tell him focus on the body for the first several rounds. That's what he should have did, but, you know, different trainers have different... Different trainers have different... By Khan. There's a sense because many Mexican greats of the past have been kind of seek and destroy, left hook to the body kind of fighters that Canelo should be that too. But that's not really his style. When he's doing it, he's trying to kind of imitate a style that's, that's not completely natural for him. And guess what? Because that's not his style, that's why he couldn't give Floyd Mayweather the fight that we expected him to give Floyd. Because to give Floyd a fight, that's the fight he would have had to fight. He's, he's already fallen, Canelo, into the kind of fight that Amir Khan wanted, where you pick your head up after a couple rounds, say, Canelo may be down in this fight, does he have the kind of tactics to turn it around? Now you see Canelo doing something smart, though. He's even hitting Khan on the arms very hard. Let's open up Virgil Hunter, who is Amir Khan's trainer, and listen as he gives instructions. Never fails. Never fails. Virgil goes quiet. That prevent point! 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 Okay, so Virgil yells point, point. Either of you guys know what that means? Could be talking about the pivot, pointing with the left foot, point to the left, point to the right, keep him out of position, don't stand there and look at him, keep pointing to the left and pointing to the right. Therefore, you're not allowing him to set up a, uh, an attack straight ahead on you. This uh, was a pretty even round until Khan landed that one, too, right there. Looked like that right hand bothered Canelo from where I'm sitting. I make Khan the winner of the third round as well. Not crying anymore in the Canelo family section. Breathe.
Sin desesperarse. Without despair. Relax. Don't touch yourself when you throw. And don't load up, okay? You don't want to take him out with just one punch. Flex your waist. Cut the exits. Fake to the body. Fake up top. Okay? Okay. Okay? As he starts slowing down, we're going to do it, okay? Now, remember when you're along the ropes and he dock, keep the prevent out, okay? That lead hand and that angle, okay? Keep, keep that straight jab out like you're going to hit him and everything, okay? Going to him. Stop it. Being deep. Beautiful new T-Bobal Arena on the Strip in Las Vegas. Very good crowd filling the arena tonight for Canelo Alvarez versus Samir Khan. I think I'm a little too enthusiastic about what Khan did in the last 30 seconds of round three. Overall, Harold Letterman sees it differently. Harold, what do you have so far? Okay, so they get a 29-28, two rounds to one on Mir Khan. Jim, in the third round, I thought Canelo tracked him down, but you know, he, 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 he tries to move forward slowly, land hard shots, and that's all he did with Rockman out in round three to win the round. I mean, he's obviously the more powerful guy. I thought, you know, he got inside, and Mir Khan didn't dominate him with that left jab like he did in rounds one and two. Canelo got to him, and, and I thought he got to him enough to win round three. Two to one, Amir Khan. Everyone loves the blood and guts, all-out action fights with two guys coming at each other. But this is of a type of a fight in boxing that's among the most dramatic. The smaller, faster fighter walking a tightrope against the bigger, stronger guy so far successfully. Classic boxer versus classic puncher. Oh, good right hand for Khan over the top. Good body shot by Alvarez in return. And that was the right counter punch for Alvarez. That was a devastating right to the body from Canelo. Left hand to the body by Canelo. Starting to get closer, which is giving him a better chance to land his body shots. See Khan, unlike Erislandi Lara, who fought Canelo very tough and close, but ultimately lost the decision. Khan's movement is much more purposeful and less wasteful. He remains in position to counter like that when he avoids Canelo's shots. Alvarez getting his jab going, but he missed with the right hand, and Khan countered accurately in return. And Khan's quick hands are causing Alvarez a little bit of a problem right now. <laughs> The question is, is Alvarez's power causing Khan a problem? How much is he feeling those punches to the body? That Ed, uh, Alvarez is using a beautiful jab right now. Yes, he's landed his jab in this round. Reminding us of how Triple G came out and used his jab against uh, the kid we saw tonight. David Lemieux? Yes. Khan wound up in an exchange moments ago. That's the danger zone for him. A little bit wild, maybe a few too many punches, exposing him to that counter from Canelo. Now Canelo doing exactly what he needs to do. Now he's consistently on the hunt, keeping, it, keeping the pressure on Canelo, not allowing Canelo to rest. Doing a much better job of cutting off the ring here in the fourth than had been the case up to this point. This is the way you want to see him fight. Third of the way through the 12 round distance in Las Vegas. Good time. Way to take that round off and still win. Very deep. Feeling good? Huh? Yeah. You got a lot of energy, huh? Yeah. Keep showing him those jabs, those, those faint jabs, you know, that slide of hand, making him think he's going to get in. You can bring your other shots off of it, okay? You see, he's pulling away from you now? Why? Because yeah. he feels your thing. Here you see the classic power shot by. Canelo, that beautiful right, hard body shot right there. Hard punch to the body because he's the more powerful guy. But right here you see the quick guy step one jab, step off the counter, and one, two, three punches with that quick hand speed before Canelo can get back. Nadia Golovkin at ringside with his trainer, Abel Sanchez. G is designated by the governing body which controls Canelo Alvarez's middleweight title belt as an absolute must mandatory challenger after this fight. Hard left hook for Alvarez lands upstairs. He had to reach a little bit 
but he caught Khan with it. I thought Khan's legs wobbled a little bit from that punch. Just a little bit. So, so far, this fight has been the best version of what it seemed it could be. And Triple G, if he's hoping for a Canelo fight, at a certain point, I think is going to get a little bit nervous. Well, almost nobody has conjured the question of whether Amir Khan, with his hand speed, would pose a riddle for Triple G. That's just not something people have even thought about. But Khan does say that he would expect to fight Triple G if he wins the fight. Long Khan, way to go. Yeah, but Khan has that heart. Khan has a heart that he won't duck and dodge nobody. Any question about Khan's heart should have been erased when he won an Olympic silver medal at age 17 and then stuck around, rebuffing huge financial offers to become a pro so that he could get another chance to fight Mario Kindelan of Cuba, the man who beat him, and win the world championship from him the following year. That's heart. That's real hard. This seems to be a pivotal round to me strategically. Hard punch Canelo, by Canelo is able to land more of his big shots that seem to affect Khan, and yet Khan is also not letting the play get taken away from him. They're both fighting, it seems, as well as possible at the moment. Well, the thing for Canelo right now is he has to do what we want Khan not to do. We don't want Khan to throw three or four punches because he'll get caught between them. But Canelo has to throw three or four punches to land that third, fourth, or fifth punch. Here's the gradual undercurrent, which may ultimately decide the fight. Khan is throwing almost exclusively head punches, and he's outlanding Canelo to the head. But Canelo is piling up body punches. Coming into this round, he had landed 16 to only three for Khan. And as those numbers grow, those are like the hidden boats from out in the rural areas. Canelo is building up the body damage on Khan. But what Canelo can't do is try to stand back and box Khan like he's doing right now because he won't beat Khan like this. Ooh, good right to the body from Canelo. Uh, Khan has a redness around that right eye. May have a cut either on the nose or, on the eye, or right up under the eye from that left hook earlier. Khan now forced to acknowledge those Canelo shots. He's having more and more difficulty getting away from Khan's pressure. As Khan does a better job of cutting off the ring. Or excuse Canelo. me, Canelo does a better job of cutting off the ring. That's the shot. See that third shot? Those are the ones that he has to land. And even though Khan won't let the play get taken away, it does feel like there's been a, a kind of sea change in this fifth round. What happened? You want some water? No, no. You good? See, you're starting to catch more now. Just like that. Let go of those punches. Be faster. Not so much power because you miss more. Flex your waist. Fix your flip and jab to the top and fake them to the body and then change it up. Change them up. Don't be overconfident, right? You do things right. Block, flex, and fake when you go in. Here you see Canelo land a beautiful left hook, and it looked like uh, Khan may have been hurting, but it's just the way he is. His movement is so awkward right, right there. He bounces both feet up in the air at the same time, and he just does that. So I don't think he's really hurt. And here you see a beautiful body shot right to the body by Canelo. Those are the shots that Canelo has to land. Right hand to the body has been Canelo's best punch all night long. Khan has been landing his jab and sometimes his right hand across the top. But if there's a decisive punch in the flow of the fight so far, it would appear to be Canelo's right hand to the body. Canelo outlanding Khan 36 to 29 in the last three rounds. And as you see, he's won all of those rounds on Harold Letterman's scorecard. So at least on Harold's unofficial scorecard, Canelo Alvarez inching ahead in the fight. The longer it goes, the more ringside experts expect the damage to pile up in Canelo's favor. Larger, stronger man. Amir Khan fighting above the 147-pound level for the first time in his career. Canelo at his preferred weight of 155. Hard body shot with the right hand by Canelo. And now Canelo's outboxing Khan. Khan's 
attempts are, hit, are hitting air or gloves, and Canelo's attempts are landing clean. And that was that third punch that I was talking about. He threw a one, two, three, right hook to the body, left hook to the head, and the left hook and the right body shot landed. It's just been a simple matter of closing the distance, getting closer, cutting off the ring creating less and less physical space between himself and Khan. And what a display of hand speed by Khan there. Exactly, it's because Canelo backs out now and gives him time. Tries to box like he did again with Floyd Mayweather. You can't box a boxer, you have to fight him. It's much harder to do against Floyd Mayweather than anybody else. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying you should have learned that from, Floyd, from the Floyd fight. And you definitely supposed to imply, impose your will on a guy like this. I think slowly he is. It seems that over the last several rounds, Canelo's having his way increasingly. Body shots, yeah. body shots. Jim and said. now the jab upstairs landing with frequency. Not just that the body shots score points. It's it's money in the bank. Uh, and and the, it, there's a cumulative effect that I think we're starting to see it. You sap a man's confidence with body shots, as well as taking away his energy. And everybody... Oh. 